Week 3 This week we will cover the last half of Act 2, Scene 1 in the Biblical Story, taking us through the remainder of Jacob's story and focusing especially on the story of Joseph's travails and triumphs in Egypt. This week, look for reoccurring themes in the narratives about Jacob and Joseph. We have seen that Jacob's life was marked by deception. Yet notice the great integrity of Joseph's life. In his integrity, he confronted and forgave the lack of it in his own brothers. Finally, This story is one of deliverance from famine. But by moving Jacob's family to Egypt, it also sets up the story of the great deliverance, the Exodus. Week 3, Day 1, Genesis 30 through 33. Notice the progression of the story in today's reading. 1. In Genesis 30, both the resources and the sons of Jacob multiplied. He became rich in sons and material wealth. 2. Jacob then separated from Laban and moved his family back toward the land promised by God. 3. A crisis arose. Genesis 32, 24-32 is a difficult passage, but we have clues about what was going on. Remember to watch for details when reading Old Testament stories. Jacob's name, the name of the tributary he crossed, Jabok, see Genesis 32, 22, and the word wrestle in Hebrew all sound very similar. So this was obviously a significant crossroads moment in Jacob's life. Jacob's wrestling with the angelic being, who was there representing God, had to do with who Jacob would be in the future. Notice the change of his name to Israel, which means, quote, God strives. He had lived as a deceiver but was humbled here by the striking of his hip. He was blessed in this moment of struggle. Read this story as a turning point in Jacob's life and experience with God. What does this passage teach you about a relationship with God and how blessing often comes from struggle? Genesis 